Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I want to talk about a good replacement for your Benchmade bug out scales, um, the ones that come with the Grivery, or however it's pronounced from Benchmade, and that is the Parsons Bladeworks Aluminum Bug Out Scales. Um, quick disclaimer, I do know the person who makes these, however I did pay full price, I didn't get any sort of discount, no deal or anything like that through them, um, so I did pay full price for these, so it's not going to affect my review. It's, same amount of money coming out of my pocket as, as it would be coming out of yours. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what I like about these, what I'm neutral towards, and what I dislike about them as well. So first up's the material. So replacing this uh, plastic grivery material is aluminum. Aluminum is a good mixture, in my opinion, of weight and durability, which is the reason I bought these. Um, one thing about the grivery is while being lighter than aluminum aluminum for sure it's also a lot more flexible especially up here it's really really bending um it's almost no issue at all to bend these scales and you could snap them fairly easily if i put too much pressure on there i'm sure i could um aluminum though especially this you're not going to get any flex when these are open at all and they're going to be a lot more scratch resistant a lot more wear resistant it will show more because of this coating you know, it's kind of a trade-off that you're dealing with. But the main benefit to it is the weight. The weight is still very, very light. With these scales, the knife's 2.3 ounces, which is crazy light. Um, and it's it's that it's a nice mixture of durability and weight. I have tried the rock scale design um, titanium scales for the Benchmade bug out. They were too heavy for me. Um, then I felt unbalanced. It didn't feel as light as I think it should. So this is a nice balance between that durability and that weight. These scales are also very, very well made. And I'm sure you can see in the video here, they're very contoured, very chamfered. And even on the inside of the scales here, when you're pressing them with your fingers, it's it's smooth. It's not sharp at all, um, which was a massive problem for me with the original Grivery. You can see that comes right to a 90 degree angle. It is sharp. You can feel it when you grip down you can't on these and it's it's nice there's just a lot of attention that's been paid to that speaking of attention and build quality here if you actually look inside the knife you can see that there are little pockets well not little they're pretty big um little pockets that have been milled out in there and that's to reduce that weight and again there's even with that reduction in weight there's still no issue with, with durability there's no bend or give or anything like that so with those lightening, lightening pockets, the contouring and the durability of aluminum, um, they just they feel much, much more premium than those stock grivery scales. The, the last thing on the like list is just the color options that you can get these in. Uh, currently, he only has red and blue in stock. Personally, I think that um, the red with the coated blade, which this should have. This needs to be rebladed, pardon that. Um, but the red with that coated blade and the gold hardware would look amazing. And of course the blue to replace the stock blue bug out scales um, with a satin blade. That's that's basically the same color, um, a little bit off maybe, but just a, a massive, massive bump in quality for you. So good color options. There's very, very nice chamfering, very good overall build quality on this. They're very, very light. They feel very durable and they're made out of a good material. Let's move on to what I'm neutral towards. So on the neutral side, um, first up is the price. These are $80. That's not terrible by any means, um, especially considering these are small batch and there's only one guy running this company, you know? Um, it's not a massive operation like, um, say, Flytanium or something like that. It's not, there's not uh, several people working there making these scales. It's it's one guy, you know. So to come in at that price isn't bad at all. Um, it's, I, it, it could for sure be cheaper if you, if you got it from a, you know, a larger retailer. But with with that decrease in price, you're still getting the same material probably, but that attention to detail might not be there. So the chamfering on the inside just to reduce the hot spots, the nice rounding here, uh, the perfect you know fit when reassembling might not be there. So it's kind of a trade-off. Um, I think for $60 or so, they'd be a lot more compelling. 
but I think at $60, he would probably be losing money on these. So that's, it's kind of a trade-off, you know. Um, next up is, there's no texturing options. So I love the feel of this material. It's a nice mix between grippy and smooth. And what I mean by that is it's not nearly as grippy and kind of, it doesn't have that gross chalky feel of the Benchmade 940 in aluminum. However, it feels a lot less slippery than, for example, my um, Tangram Vector. It's not quite as hard to get a hold of as that or the Benchmade, not Benchmade, ha. Huh. The real steel metamorph, if you have one of those, this is slightly more grippy than that. And you can kind of see some of that texture on there. Um, it doesn't feel grainy or anything, but it's just enough to make it comfortable to grip and lock into your hand pretty well. However, there's no real texturing options. He has done a run before in like a sunburst, which is kind of wavy, which I'm sure added grip, but there's none currently. I would love to see this in like a hexagonal milling pattern. Um, however, for sure that extra milling that extra cost and if you go back and look at the sunburst scales you'll see that it adds money to these it adds a good little chunk of money to these because it's more work it's a lot more work to to mill these out with with a texturing pattern and also those have to be designed it adds design time things like that so that's those are all things to take into consideration however i would like the option to do that um He's considered doing uh, possibly pre-orders in the future just to lock the scales in uh, to make sure people are interested. And I think that would be a very, very awesome pre-order option is to have um, some extra texturing or uh, milling patterns available. Next up, again, in reference to the milling here, it's going to be the uh, the lack of a thumb ramp. Now, the original bug out scales don't have this either. You know, there, there's nothing there. It's just a straight drop off. I feel like a thumb ramp, though, kind of an angled one right around here would be great. Now, it's still no issue to get a thumb stud. I just think it would be easier if um, there was that option again there, um, which would, again, that would add cost. You would also have to factor that more into the design, and it might create a hot spot when you're putting your uh, index finger there because there's not as much material to grip. It would be thinner and possibly just cut into your finger a little bit more. But a thumb ramp, I think, would improve the overall design of the bug out anyway. Just a comment. It's going to go on to what I dislike. Okay, only two things here. First up, these clip holes. Again, this is a cost thing. I understand that completely. He would basically have to manufacture just certain, you know, clips for certain people. So if you're right-handed like I am, you would only have it on this side. And this side would be clean. However, I think with that being filled in would look ten times better. Uh, this is there's five holes down here at the bottom just drive me insane. Looks a lot cleaner without those. But again, that would add to the cost. I get that. It's just, it, it really throws off the look for me because these scales look so minimalist and clean as it is. It just kind of messes with the design a little bit, in my opinion. But again, the stock bug out scales have that as well. So it's it's not a, you know, a huge issue. Next thing up, and this is not his fault by any means. It's the installation for these. Um, taking apart the bug out and replacing scales sucks. It's not on, it's not very high on the difficulty scale, but it's very time consuming. Um, because basically what you're doing is you're only taking out from like here up. It's just the, the part for the access lock. And of course you're taking out the screws and stuff, but that little part is very finicky when you're removing it. It's just something to keep in consideration. It's going to kind of be a pain in the butt to get these off and replace them. However, once they are replaced, it's nice. Let's go ahead and go on to the conclusion. So in conclusion, what do I think about these scales and should you buy them? I think you should, and I like them a lot. <laughs> I think you should buy them if you're looking to upgrade your bug out. These make them feel a lot more premium in my opinion. It it comes up to about $200 total for the knife and the scales, but it feels like a $200 knife. Like it feels like it's earned that money and I have no issue with, with this knife now at all. As far as like premium feeling, it's, it's fantastic. Um, if you're not looking to upgrade your bug out or you're wanting something even more durable, it's going to cost you more, of course, to, to get something more durable and it's going to be heavier, but you know, that's completely up to you. But if you're not looking to upgrade your bug out, it's that that's your thing you do what you want i i personally would just 
wait and see, you know, if you can, if you can stand your bug out. Uh, personally for me, I hated the way the Grivery felt. I didn't like the flex when I'm gripping hard. So this was an excellent, excellent upgrade. Um, I would do it again and I will do it again if it comes out with um, any more really cool colors, any more milling patterns or takes any of the feedback that I've given here. Um, I think it would be really, really cool to see some more options in this. Again, going to be a price increase, but I can't help but think that a, a bug out with some, some hexagonal milling down in there would look perfect. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions about the scales or the stock scales or anything like that, uh, let me know. And I will leave a link down to uh, parsonsbladeworks.com in the description. You can go take a look at these. He has pictures on there of both colors. Personally, I think the uh, the blue replacement for the scales would look great on the stock bug out. However, if you have the coated blade version, which this one should be, it needs to be rebladed. If you have the coated blade version, so it's you know, dark gray, almost black with gold accents on it, I think that would go perfect with the red. I think that would look amazing, actually. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any questions for the owner of Parsons Blade Works, you can contact him uh, via his website and get in touch with him there. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.